Welcome to Infigyan friends. Today in this video we have one very very interesting question from radical equations which will be solving for real values of x. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation first. I will write for x to be real x square minus 1 radicant must be greater than 0. Using difference of two squares formula we can write x plus 1 times x minus 1 should be positive. So from here I can write two inequalities. Either x should be less than minus 1 or x should be greater than 1. Then we are going to get x real. Now from condition on x, once we will take x common from LHS, we can write RHS is positive. So LHS must be positive. So x must be positive. Now we will take intersection of these two conditions. So we can say our answer must be greater than 1 for x to be real. Now we will use our substitution. Let us say x equal to sec theta. Trigonometric substitution. Here theta belongs to 0 to pi by 2 or in first quadrant. For x to be greater than 1. Now we can calculate square root of x square minus 1 value. So we can write a square root of sec square theta minus 1 which is a square root of tan square theta equal to tan theta. So our denominator will be tan theta. x is sec theta we will get our equation in theta sec theta plus sec theta over tan theta equal to 35 over 12. Now we can write here sec theta is equal to 1 over cos theta plus 1 over cos theta over tan theta we know that this is sin theta over cosine theta equal to 35 over 12. Now cos theta cos theta will be over. We will write 1 over cosine theta plus 1 over sin theta equal to 35 over 12. Now we will take LCM and write sin theta plus cosine theta over sin theta cos theta. This will be equal to 35 over 12. Now we are going to assume, let us say sin theta plus cos theta. This is equal to u. Now we will consider is squaring both sides so that we can find out our denominator sin theta cos theta. Now I can write here sin square theta plus cosine square theta plus 2 sin theta cos theta. In RHS we will write u square. Now we can write condition on u also as we have theta in first quadrant then sin theta plus cos theta. This is equal to u. In first quadrant sin theta and cos theta both values are positive. So u will be positive only. u cannot be negative. Now we know that sin square theta plus cosine square theta is 1. So we can find here sin theta cos theta value which will be equal to u square minus 1 over 2 which we are going to plug in here in this equation. And we can write sin theta plus cos theta is u. Denominator is u square minus 1 over 2. RHS is 35 over 12. So u over u square minus 1 over 2 equal to 35 over 12. 
Now we will simplify LHS which will give us 2u over u square minus 1 equal to 35 over 12. Now we can cross multiply and get quadratic in u, 35u square. Then we will write minus 35, then we will write 24u in the RHS or 35u square minus 24u minus 35 equal to 0. Now we can split minus 24u as minus 49u plus 25u. So we will get factorization 7u plus 5 times 5u minus 7 equal to 0. Now we can apply product 0 root and we can write 7u plus 5 equal to 0 or 5u minus 7 equal to 0. So from first equation we are going to get minus 5 over 7 and from second equation we will get 7 over 5. Now condition on u was u should be positive u is sin theta plus cos theta in first quadrant both values are positive so u will be positive we are going to reject minus 5 over 7 so accepted value of u would be 7 over 5 let me write here u equal to sin theta plus cos theta equal to 7 over 5 now I can calculate sin theta cos theta value. As we know this is u square minus 1 over 2 which will be equal to 7 over 5 whole square minus 1 over 2. I can write 49 minus 25 over 25 times 2 50. So I will get sin theta cos theta will be equal to 24 over 50 or we can write this is 12 over 25. Now we have two equations sin theta plus cos theta 7 over 5 and sin theta cos theta 12 over 25. Now from first equation I can write cos theta equal to 7 over 5 minus sin theta which we will apply here. So I can write one equation in sin theta. Sin theta times 7 over 5 minus sin theta equal to 12 over 25. Now we have to simplify we will get one quadratic in sin theta. So I can write here minus sin square theta plus 7 over 5 sin theta equal to 12 over 25. Or we will be getting one quadratic in sin theta as 25 sin square theta minus 35 sin theta plus 12 equal to 0. Now we can use quadratic formula to find the value of sin theta. So I can write here a is 25, b is minus 35, c is 12. Let's find out sin theta using quadratic formula minus b minus of minus 35 35 plus minus is square root of minus 35 whole square which is 1 2 2 5 minus 4 times 25 times 12 so we will write here minus 1200 divided by 2 times 25 value will be 50 will be equal to 35 plus minus is square root of 25 over 50 now square root 25 is 5, we will write 35 plus minus 5 over 50. So sin theta will be 
will write here sin theta equal to 35 plus 5 over 50 35 minus 5 over 50 so we can write here 40 over 50 and 30 over 50 or we'll be writing 4 over 5 3 over 5 now this is the value of sin theta but our substitution was x equal to sec theta so first we will find out cos theta from sin theta i can draw here one right angle triangle sin is opposite over hypotenuse so if i will consider 4 over 5 this value then here we'll be writing 4 hypotenuse would be 5 base will be using pythagoras we will get 3 so i can write cosine theta is base over hypotenuse value will be 3 over 5 when sine theta is 4 over 5 similarly for 3 over 5 we will be getting 4 over 5 as cosine theta so we have finally cos theta value 3 over 5 and 4 over 5 let me write here cos theta is equal to 3 over 5 and 4 over 5 now we have to find out sec theta which is reciprocal of cos so we will write here 5 over 3 and 5 over 4 and this is what x x equal to 5 over 3 x equal to 5 over 4 both values are greater than 1 so our answer is 5 over 3 and 5 over 4 i hope friends you will like this video thank you so very much for watching do not forget to like share subscribe bye bye till next video good luck take care bye bye